Welcome back to EP Daily. It is time now for the best part of every episode. It's the Twitter <laughs> question of the day. Yep. Today's question comes from a very strange person at GBA95, Sonic94 taken. 94 taken, yeah. 94 taken. Yep. 94 taken. So many bosses and games these days seem to be rinse and repeat or quick time events. How should, I think this is a great question, how should developers change the way they make bosses? Victor Ooh. Lucas, this is tough. This is tough. Yeah. You're my boss, and I wouldn't change one thing about you. <laughs> no, I think uh, developers have some challenges there because sometimes the quick time event bosses actually serve the narrative in a game or the story of a game better than trying to go super elaborate with that. But uh, I think you got to look at you know fantastic boss battles in Mario titles and uh, Shadow of the well, Colossus. Mega Man is a game Mega that Man, I, have, yeah. I go back to all the time. I go back and re-experience those bosses, and I think that's the sign of a great boss fight. Is if yeah. you're still thinking about that boss even after you've beaten him. And, and if you have that feeling that you want to go back and fight him again, yeah. I think the developers did something right. I love boss battles. Do you like boss battles? I really do, yeah. Yeah, I feel like it's such an exciting, climactic moment. Yes. And I feel like it's such an integral part of video game culture. I, I, I look don't forward like, to them. I don't like cheap ones, but I do like ones that change mechanics on you, like being able to climb all over a boss yes. and take down, down little pieces of it along the way. I think that's amazing. Good question. Yeah. If you've got one for us, head to our website, EPN.TV. And that's it for today's episode of EP Daily, but coming soon, we've got a review of the new Xbox One Elite controller. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow.